everybody, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can separate the seed from the pulp of your cactus fruit seed pod. As you can see here, this is a big fruit seed pod. This is from a Trichocerea scopicola cactus. And um, all you need to do, obviously first of all, is to remove the dead flower head, as in this case here. Just pull it off. Hmm, give it a bit of a twist. This is quite a big one like so and then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put the whole of this pod into a bowl of fresh clean water and I'm going to show you how you can separate the seed from the pulp so what you do then is you submerge the whole of the seed pod into the water and then you gently pull it away loosen it all up there completely so it completely comes away there you go. Now it's a time consuming task separating all the pulp from the seed but um, it's definitely the best way because if you go sowing seed and it's got pulp attached to it it can encourage the, uh, the seed to rot and also fungus and things like that and mould so it's the last thing you want and then take the um, pod once it's all clean out of the water and then you need to spend a bit of time, it's a bit of a time consuming task, but you need to spend time separating, just rubbing it between your fingers gently, not, not um, to damage the se delicate seeds, to separate all that pulp, the water will uh, separate the seed from the pulp. So we'll be doing this for a good few minutes until it's all separated. Now what I've done, I've separated as much pulp as I can and you're always going to be bits floating up to the top. Um, as you can see the seed down the bottom and the one at the bottom is all completely separated from the pulp and the ones floating have got the pulp in. So I'm going to have to rinse the ones with the pulp in again. So what I'd recommend is using a clean spoon or in this case a ladle and scoop skimmer just over the top with all the seeds with all the pulp in and then put into another bowl separately entirely and then we're going to deal with them separately. Don't just discard them because there's nothing wrong with the seed. It's just that it will take a very long time trying to, you know, separate them from the pulp. So you need to use clean water again. And you can see all the ones at the bottom are already done. It, uh, it's one of them things that can't be done <laughs> in five minutes flat. But uh, it's definitely worth it. So you can see, just skimmer over the top, taking your time. Now guys, you're not going to believe this. This is just absolutely crazy, right? Um, obviously, I've changed the water. The seeds that were floated at the top have now all gone down to the bottom. And it's actually formed a heart shape. And as you will be, may or may not most of you be aware, my um, username on YouTube is Heart Full of Happiness. And I couldn't, I couldn't do that, guys. Honestly, it's just formed. The seeds have formed a heart now, how amazing is that? <laughs> Look at that, that's absolutely unreal. How is that a heart show? That's quite unreal, isn't it? Now the bowl where you've put the pulp and the seed in that still hasn't separated, what I'd recommend you to do is blast it with a load of water again. This really helps to separate it like so. Like that. Get them bubbles going. And then uh, see that's brilliant. And then all you left then is just one or two left over. Again, take your time getting all the bits of pulp with the seed still in. Really separating them with the fingers. You want to get as much of that pulp off as possible. In fact, all the pulp off, to be honest. So, and then uh, carry on doing this for a good few minutes till it's all separated. And then um, we're going to put it through the. Um, going to filter it out with a sieve. Thank you. 
guys what you need to do then is put the seeds onto a tray or plate let the seeds completely dry naturally and then put them into a paper envelope label the envelope and then they're ready for when you're ready to sew them so there you go guys thanks so much for watching and i'll send you loads of love and happiness as always from ireland till the next